Hey, I just want to just take a sec and touch on a common mistake that we all make as we're doing uh, alternating rows, okay, or prone rows, or I think people call them renegade rows. There's lots of different variations of this. Um, but for this video, I just want to show you, because I see this very frequently, and a lot of the times athletes will feel like they need to grab a super, super heavy weight and get there on the floor and start yanking and pulling and yanking and pulling. But uh, really, that's not the key. It's a huge mistake we're making. Um, you can stay light. You don't need to be super heavy on these particular ones because you got to remember, it is just as much of a core exercise as it is a pulling exercise. Okay, there's a lot of ways to pull heavier weight. So we can do barbell bent over rows, we can do pull ups, we can do uh, bent over rows. Uh, you can lift a lot heavier volume wise. Um, but for this particular video, I want to show you a, a common mistake that we're constantly making while we're doing rows in the prone position with dumbbells. And it involves a lot of, uh, a lot of movement that we could replace if we engage uh, the correct muscles, okay? So um, here I have two dumbbells, and I'm just gonna go down to the push-up position. And a lot of us do these, you'll see it a lot. And I'll go sideways so that you can kind of see where I'm at, okay? So we'll be down here in this push-up position right here. And we're doing rows back and forth like this, and our bodies are swaying back and forth, right? Going back and twisting, and we're twisting back and forth on our feet. Okay? It's a big mistake that a lot of us make. We feel like we gotta lift super heavy and that we're just yanking and pulling. Well, you're not getting stronger, so let me talk to you a little bit. Gotta engage the core, okay? Lock your shoulder girdle out, okay? And pull, okay? But a lot of the times, we end up losing control or core activation, or even activating glutes to stabilize. Um, and we rock. So let me show you a good way to do it, okay? Tip number one is to lock out your arms, okay? For me, I have to slightly turn my dumbbells out, okay, to where they're kind of like the letter A. And your feet are shoulder width apart. Some of us can come closer. The closer you, your feet come, the more advanced it is, okay? So if we come up about shoulder width apart, and we squeeze our stomach, we slightly arch our back, we stay real hollow, right? And we push our feet into the ground, and we lift one arm and tuck it right to the, to the rib cage. And we go right back down. You gotta squeeze your stomach, keep it locked. You go to the other arm, lock it out. There's very little rocking involved, okay? As long as we keep our hips in line with the floor and the elbows riding right up to our rib cage, we're in good shape. Now, if we lose core activation, it looks like this. And we're turning and we're pulling. And you'll often see when someone does a row, their foot will come off the ground. Okay, on the back. And that's generally one, because they're not locking their core. Or two, the weight is too heavy. So I always suggest staying light. Grab some eights, some tens, some twelves, fifteens. I, I, when I'm doing these, I'm using twenties. Okay, and I'm really focusing on locking in my stomach muscles and developing my core. Okay, like I said, there's a lot of ways to build your back muscles or a lot of your pulling muscles um, other than this that you can lift a lot heavier. So if your concern is lifting heavy, do bent over rows, do pull ups, or do, do a, a variation of this, uh, this motion, okay? So tip number one, engage your core, stop rocking, rolling back and forth on your feet. Your hips should be flat to the floor, squeezing your stomach muscles, and your arm will ride up against your armpit, okay? So we just go right and pull, okay? No need to open up the shoulder and turn this way when we're doing rows, no need to turn, okay? So just lock it, squeeze your stomach, keep it locked to the floor, and go right back down. If you find yourself rolling all over the place or one of your back feet are coming up when you're pulling, just tells you you're not, like I said, engaging your stomach, okay? Holding a tall bridge and or the weight is too heavy. So make these adjustments and you'll see that your rows are uh, completely different and the quality of the motion goes up. So thanks for